Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we found the best moments when women get rejected. Now, let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Yes, I've slept. Dang, bro didn't even have to say anything, just turned around and walked out. It's funny because my husband can spend all day at work laying pipe and then the second he gets home, he like instantly forgets how to do it. <laughs> you know? It's it's because I used up all the glue laying pipe with someone else. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Between just kidding. It. Hey, at least she can take the joke, but maybe he's being serious. Or slap. Kiss or what? Slap. Slap, but I don't wanna be slapped. You slap, slap me. Oh god. Nah, ain't gonna do anything. No? <laughs> nah. Okay. When he realized what she meant by slap, he instantly turned it down. How much money does a guy need to make in order to be with you, long term? 250000 a year, minimum. Okay, 250000 a year, what do you bring to the table? A lot of things. Name them, name them, name them. This is one of them. So that's all you got? I'm out of here, I gotta get McDonald's. You can get that from any girl though. No, I got a lot more than that, but like, I don't a girl, a girl, A girl that doesn't, all, that doesn't that need 250 a girl that doesn't need 250? Get the same thing, yes. I need my McDonald's. She asks for all that, but can't even name one thing she provides? Double standard much? What's going on is that my birthday is February 10th, and my boyfriend just won two free tickets to Vegas for the Super Bowl, oh, okay, wow, which fun. is essentially on my birthday, mm -hmm. and he's abandoning me and taking his okay. best friend Whoa, in. Wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. God. Let me explain. I'm not abandoning her. We can do something before or after. Okay. I've told her that so many times. Okay. Oh. So many times. Okay, but 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 listen, Derek, you could take me and you're and you're choosing to not take me, leave me all yeah. alone not... on my birthday. Wait, Derek, who are you taking with you? Someone else. I'm taking my best friend. I'm taking my best friend Brad. We've known each oh. other for years. We watch the game every Sunday. I can't not take him. So he's a big football fan. Are you a football fan, Megan? Well, I'm not necessarily a fan of football, but I'm a fan of <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Listen. Also, Taylor Swift is probably going to be there. Usher <laughs> perform. I'll take you to Vegas. Usher at halftime. I'll take yeah. you to Vegas. I'll take you to Usher. I'll take you to Taylor Swift, but not right now. This no. Is go to this, this is like My man knew Brad would actually appreciate the football tickets and not just be there in case Taylor Swift is there. Try to highlight some of my core qualities including the fact that I'm very, very type A, organized, I like to be the leader, I told her the types of things that I like doing. I also told her I was looking for a man who was also a leader because I don't want to always be the leader, believe it or not. I told her I was looking for someone that was at or above the same income level as me. Of course. Driven, who is ambitious, who is ready for a long-term relationship and ready to get married. She really said, I want to be led when I'm in the mood to be led. Like, lead me. Lead me when I'm in the mood to be led. Come on, just choose one of them, making it way too confusing, girl. Crazy question. You don't have herpes, do you? Herpes? Yeah. I don't think so. No. Okay, perfect. <laughs> well, I have a girlfriend. You, I, you know, my girlfriend would be pretty mad if she found out I was kissing other dudes anyways, so I don't apologize. There's nothing to apologize about. I appreciate it, though. I'm just going to go kiss somebody else. That works. Mm, nice bun, chicken, pickle bun. That's what happens when you try to force things on him after he clearly stated he was taken. If you had two hours with Charleston White, what would you do? Go shopping. She said that like as if Charleston just agreed. To, to, <laughs> like as if Charleston is just gonna 100% agree to take yo. Uh, ladies, if you're not one of these women that I'm about to describe, then please just excuse yourself from the conversation, all right? Like, congratulations to you. I hope you find an amazing man because you genuinely deserve it in this day and age, all right? Because 95% of your species is just not worthy of a relationship. They're just not, bro. And it sucks. It really does suck. Because I think all men want to be able to take care of a woman, provide for a woman, pay for her nails. It makes us feel good to provide and protect, take a girl on trips. I think all men would love to do that, but it's just like none of these girls qualify for that, man. They just don't, and it sucks. Of course, the first thing she says involves spending money on her. The same thing with you at the hype. Like, you can't demand somebody be six foot, you're five foot two. Okay. 
Well, you can, and the thing. That's still my preference. But, but those, men's it's, preference. It's, it's, men's preference for the it's low a, body it's count. It's a stupid preference. It, it, see, it's, it's only stupid because you don't understand it, and it doesn't serve you. That's why. You're very self-centered in the way you, you view how things. How does it serve you having a nice, clean girl? Uh, well, well, no. Yeah. Uh, the baby's definitely mine. She's not going to run away. Marital happiness. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Go ahead. Speak no, up. Go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Basically, men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. If she's going to complain without a preference, she needs to reevaluate her dating pool. How much are you spending on an engagement ring? I don't believe in marriage. Huh? What does that mean? How does a guy benefit from marriage? What? Okay, so you're telling me your dream girl wants to get married to you, you're just saying nah? Yeah, I already told her I don't believe in marriage and she cried and then we broke up. Okay, damn. Damn. Bro doesn't believe in marriage and that's not a problem. $5,000 or one night with me? $5,000. Why $5,000? $5,000 is $5,000. Yeah. Bro just got asked the easiest question in the world. See? No. Okay, no then. Cause she blind. Hello. What's up? I'm Lala. What's up, Lala? How you feel? Not yet. Hey. What's up? How you doing? Not yet. <laughs> Hello. What's up, baby? Are you ready yet? Not yet. I hope I can. Hey. Win. It's cold outside. Doing? I don't even know you cold. I'm saying, nah, put your coat on, man. It's cold out. What's good? I'm, good. <laughs> I'm not ready again. Not yet. Okay. This is so bad. India. Are we the first night? You asking me that? Yes. I oh, don't know. I gotta ask you some questions and figure it out. I swear, rappers are the best at these dating shows. It's not even a competition. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. We're gonna start with you, Sophia. Go ahead. Nine. Okay. You already know. Ten. Okay. Mm, I'd say a cool eight. Seven. Ten. Maybe like an eight. A ten. Eight. Nine. 10, 10, 10. What did you say again? Eight. Eight. I think we do have a little bit of delusion tonight. I want to say, you know, there's some delusion here. We've got a couple tens at the table. No offense. Right? You can think it's delusion, but I also think beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So mm -hmm. I personally think I'm a 10. She thinks she's a 10. I think she's a 10. I don't so. think that you're unattractive, but I don't think you're a 10. And that's and your I'm, not, I'm not saying that like to like, oh, that's a fucking own. I'm just saying that. Descriptive. Trying to be as like. Objective. Exactly. Thank you, Erin. Appreciate it. Thank you <laughs> Thank for that. You. Yeah, and I respect like that. A, but again, that's again, that's you and your and your views but I, I mean, personally, I think I'm a 10. Gotta find a balance between confidence and ego, because look what happens when these ladies let their egos talk. I haven't pranked Lamont a little bit, and he's taking me out for a double date with one of his, like, really special, important friends. So I brought out the special hoop earrings for the occasion. <laughs> he's good to die. Lamb! These are which, uh, of this jacket I'm wearing. Bambi. What? What is this? What is what? This hula hoop on your ear. What do you mean hula hoop? It looks like the this thing. Why would you wear this kind of earring? Yeah, you, you know this is an important meeting. Why would you wear this kind of earring? These are special hoop earrings. What do you mean? This is not hoop. This is hula hoop. You, you look like that that thing those women wear and they are spinning around. You, you wear only one small tiny one or don't wear earring. You, it, it's not composite. We are going to go and eat and sit down and discuss. We're not going yeah, to... Yeah, exactly. How else am I going to meet your special, special friend? This look like you're going to Olympics. You are not going to Olympics, baby. Relax. <laughs> ah, small meeting we're going for. You you bring out Olympics <laughs> earring. I mean, if your girl walks in wearing these things, what are you doing? You know what? How about this? What differentiates you from the other girls yeah. on this panel? How do you stand out? Tell us. How do you stand out? How do you stand out? I stand out because I'm me. And I'm going to just keep oh it. Oh, my God. If she can't state one thing she provides or what makes her stand out, she isn't worth it. We try to get her back. Your job now is to get you back. Send yourself flowers. That bitch doesn't deserve any of your attention. She chose to walk away. Let her go, my bro. Let her go. There's 3.5 billion women in the world, and you're worried about one? But your anger and cynicism are justified, as she did waste your time. Sometimes, as much as it may hurt, you need to let the past go. Once you let it go, new opportunities will quickly arise. Question. You ever hear women ask, why don't men want to get married anymore? Is it just me, or you be talking to somebody, or even dating somebody, right? And be so in love, like, just love this mother see absolutely no no wrong in them just love them then one day you're just like i don't like you no more you can be having a good day 
And I just be like, I don't like you no more. I don't like the person you are. I don't like the way you move. I don't like the way you think. I just don't like you. So I, I, I want to leave. Just like that. Like, I want to go. I don't want to talk anymore. Is that just me? The more confusing they get, the less likely men are to want to marry. I'm gonna ask you a question, and if you get it right, you get to spank me with a ruler. That's crazy. She really thought he was gonna be all over that prize, but little did she know, he wasn't a simp. All you need to do is set a boundary and say, I don't date women that hang out with their exes. Mm -hmm. That's it. She wants to hang out with her exes? See you, bye, I'll replace you. You know, if you're gonna be that kind of gal, if that's who you are, that's fine. That's cool, not a problem. I don't waste energy on things that are unnecessary, but guys consume themselves with it and they'll stalk them and they'll look on social media and they'll see who likes the posts in the comments and they'll click through and see what. Don't waste time on things that aren't going anywhere. Same thing goes for girls. You know what it takes for no. like me to go out on a date? What it take? I gotta get a babysitter for my kids. Okay. Should it be Is that? Yes. I because gotta now, pay for I the kids that you made prior that's to me. That's what now. A part of me is my kids. I'm a business owner. Uh -huh. I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I'm holding down a household. That's why. And, and I shouldn't have to pay for your child. I'm not saying it every day. I'm saying, okay. No, no date. A man what? that's for me, in no. my opinion, yeah. they know that, okay, she's a mother of two. She's mm -hmm. holding down a business. She's holding down a house. She's commuting from Jersey to New York. All right. How much is your babysitter? Oh, how much do you pay your whatever aunt? The whatever the case that. is. Oh, I don't give her nothing. Nine you know times what? out of ten, she's taking her to her mom's crib and pocketing the money. If she got money. that, if yeah. a certain type Different. of man that knows what it takes for a woman to raise children, I'm going to give you $50 to give to your aunt or something like that. I'm no. not saying like $100, what? $200. This is why I don't date one with kids. I'm beyond. Don't. You, do you brother. have children? No, I don't. And, and that's why. Because a, a man that has or knows same. what it takes to date a woman that has children, I'm good. they're so, going to understand that. Wait, all these are requirements for a first date? Talk about a high-maintenance woman. The results came back that Keandra did not tell the truth. And the results for you, Seth's lie detector test is that he also did not tell the truth. Call you one day. We are liars. Well, whatever. They proved it. <laughs> 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 whatever, man. Wow, she was really dancing like she knew she was gonna be right, only to figure out she was lying. Today is day one of getting raised by 365 people in 365 days. Women do not have no self respect no more. Society is failing. Society is failing because the belief in God is not there no more. Just if most of these women believed in God or found God, they wouldn't be doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Women that have been with a lot of men will always find it hard to stay dedicated to one man. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll never ever be able to be in a committed relationship. Most women nowadays are putting shame on the father's last name. You know what I'm saying? Just. It's getting harder and harder each day to find a good woman. So focus on yourself, lad. You know what I'm saying? Stay woke in these streets. Big brr. The good women are quickly going away and nothing is stopping them. Right, so truth or dare? Dare. Dare? Yeah. Okay. So I dare you to walk up to any guy and ask him for his number. Okay. So are you down? Okay, let's go. Yeah, now let's walk. Let's go. Hi. Please, can I talk to you for a minute? Um, please, can I get your number? I'm sorry, no, I don't do soft kills. Hell, What the? Oh. A few moments later. All right. So what happened? Why didn't you get his number? Mm, I don't. I don't like him. He's not my type. <laughs> Love. Really? Yeah, I don't like Okay. <laughs> Women. <laughs> well, here's another example of too much confidence coming back to bite her behind. And the truth shall set you free. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. You hit it on the head. Women that say it's a 24-hour job don't like being moms. They end up divorced 
and look forward to their week off. Yes, that is 99% true in most cases. And that's exactly why I reply to all the comments from these women. And they get mad and they're so triggered and they're like, why are you so upset? Why are you whining about these women that just want to live their life? Nobody's whining. We're just calling you out for your... That's all. I make a video talking about how being a stay-at-home parent is a privilege. And all of these crazy, toxic women come out of the woodworks to start whining, moaning, and complaining about how it's a 24-hour job and I make five course meals every single day, three days a week, and you have no idea how hard we work. Like, woman, please, get over yourself. You sound ridiculous. But I'm the bad guy because I'm willing to come out and say, no, you're full of shit. You're wrong. You would rather go work a job and do these things because you'd rather have your free time than spend time with your kids. That's pathetic. Sorry, someone has to say it. I will. I can guarantee any man would much rather be a stay-at-home dad watching the kids over their 9-to-5 job. Who's your celebrity crush? Rachel McAdams. That's valid. She's cute. Yeah. Would you rather have me or Rachel McAdams? Rachel McAdams. Damn, what would you rate her on a scale of 1 to 10? Probably 10. Damn. What am I? 5. Huh? 6. Maybe 7. What did he say? Oh, no! She really tried to compare herself to his celebrity crush and got exactly the answer she was asking for. Crazy. Yeah. We'll figure something out. I, um, first things first, let me just let you know when I'm leaving. Priority. The priority is I'll let you know when I'm heading out of town or what I'm deciding to do on your holiday. Okay. And we'll go from there, okay? Yeah, we'll figure it out. But I, okay, okay, so yeah. Go, pick, hold, and do whatever you need to do. I'm glad you got your computer, you know, so much more. The last time that I spoke to you around this time last night, you were, you were kind of a mess. I know, but thank you for everything. I'm going to talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay. So okay. Do your stuff and enjoy the rest of your evening. You know exactly what <laughs> oh, the Godfather is never wrong. Culture just sugaring that dude up. Beta male provider providing stuff left and right. And she on here talking about how can I find a high value man? And she's out hustling, mother suckers. Come on now, at least remember to end the call. Something tells me she's done a lot worse than what she's talking about during this interview. It's ridiculous to know that a man could actually lose his wealth, lose his fortune for unconditionally loving this. And they wonder why we don't get married. And they wonder why we don't commit to them. And we wonder why we don't go down that aisle because we lose too damn much. You mean to tell me that you wasn't with me shooting in the gym, but I owe you half the gym because you stayed around for a couple of practice? You mean to tell me that I got to sit here and pay you a monthly fee for your lifestyle and alimony until you find another sucker to leech from? You mean to tell me that you're going to take my kids, even though they're probably going to be provided and protected way better with me than you, and I have to pay you for them, even though I stand, I stand up as a father? I say, bull. And that's why these men are making y'all girls baby mamas and not wives. Because when you leave out this ain't taking half of what you didn't help me. And this is why money should never be a factor when it comes to relationships. Are you doing anything next weekend? Um, not with you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wasn't asking. I was just I was just curious about your life generally. Oh, okay. That's a very presumptuous thing that I would go for a girl like you. Oh, no. uh, it's a bit. No, I... Uh, it's, uh, oh, is it the same thing? Well, I have a thing called standards, so... <gasps> Just remember, when you take an L, learn how to turn that L into a W. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel and the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you should watch another one. Till next time.